Welcome, welcome, friends. We have done it. 3K IO plus a little extra. Those videos are posted. Super duper happy. That's my goal. Got my Sanguine Depths portal as well. We have Kaz and Senile very close. Going to get their 3K probably today or tomorrow. Then we might have a couple other people. Hard to say, but um, one tyrannical week, one fort week left. So you get your keys in. This week's not too bad. Next week's not too bad if you got a, a good tank. But um, yeah, so we're still going to maybe want the Codex on the uh, Paladin here for, you know, the new tier. It's a really nice item. Scales with incoming damage, which is cool. And let's see what we got. So we also did the Sepulchre meta achievements. So unless we have Mog here, which we don't, we're going to ignore all this. Uh, so the Bracers would be cool. I don't think I have Max Bracers. Uh, and, you know... And they're not even good stats, but uh, let's see what the blade does. Glad I'm not going to take my third weapon of the patch. Uh, this is a crit neck, which we don't want anything to do with. Still don't have a good neck. I have the 278 mastery neck, but um, but the jailer's neck with the socket comes out to like seven more stat. And um, yeah, this sucks, but it, it's eye level and... Um, Yeah, it took a little bit more mastery. Mastery, really, really good for prot. Or do I take tokens for Genesis Motes? We're going to take uh, Bracers. Anyway, not too bad. We did get a bunch of alt keys uh, as we were kind of taking a break from the more serious ones last week. So we'll so see what we got. Uh, Got to remember to chant that. We'll, we'll do that later, though. Also, happy uh, servers finally being up. If you're like me, you probably got booted like two minutes into logging in. Um, but yeah, so Fred should have one box. I think maybe the monk has two Mythic Plus boxes, but uh, we'll see what the Demon Hunter has first. Unsure how much I'm going to be playing. I think the alts, um, I mean, next season's just only going to be easier, right? They don't have any any nonsense, no campaign that I know of. Uh, patch cycle is going to be smaller. Should be fun to just get in and blast some old geese. Can't wait for Mechagon. Can't wait for uh, lower Kara. I can totally wait for upper Kara, though, because, um, oh god, that's going to be a mess. But, um, could use another weapon. We did get a Mythic Plus weapon, which is cool. Finally replaced our second ZM. Um, we have a Codex. We could use a better ooze or something that's not an ooze that's better. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. End of the season. We're just trying to pad our uh, gear. Could use legs. I think we have a chest. We totally do. So, easy 50 Genesis modes. If, you know... If you have these tokens, right, uh, on alts, like, yeah, that's great and everything to uh, maybe build up for a socket. But I'm going to tell you right now, a socket on my alts, not the most pressing thing in the world, especially it's very unlikely that I have, like, the, the ideal piece of gear that I also want to socket, especially for an alt that, I mean, the tanks are pretty geared, but I do imagine that they'll be replacing all that stuff in early Mythic Plus. I'm unsure if we have like the heroic week reduced item level on keys. I don't think we do. I know we have uncapped Valor from the start of the season, which I think is great. Uh, if Blizz wants to back pay my Paladin 40k Valor for all the keys I ran before they uncapped it, that would be super nice of them to do. They're not going to do that, but uh, you know, and it's not like I wouldn't run those keys anyway but it, it's just it'll be nice to get that from the beginning of the season i think we're still going blood here um or we're not yeah because we could totally get codex codex great for dk really pads a little and we uh we already have a quantum device so more genesis motes for the genesis mode guy yeah, I'll take it. Very cool. Uh, what do we get? 
yeah, my alts are slowly, slowly dropping key levels because I'm not doing too much. It's just doing like the one key, so we'll like time a 15 or get somebody in one last key for the week. So drop a key down to a 15 or a 16. But, you know, again, not a problem. It would be nice to do slightly higher keys. I've Multiple times this season, I'm playing Death Knight or Monk. And I'm like... I mean, Paladin's great, and I'm way better at Paladin, but I'm also sitting there, like, throwing kegs or sitting there with 70% parry on the DK, and I'm like, I feel like I'd probably have to kite at this point in the Paladin, but, um, I don't know. Still my favorite class. But, uh, but, man, I, I, I really like playing all the tanks. Even Warrior, we've been playing. I think Warrior got a key, too. Warlock got a key, too. Somebody needed 15, so I scammed Kaz into tanking streets and uh, we had a real good time had some oopsies but uh, I got to play Destro at least one more time before the hammer comes down Destro is still going to be a perfectly good spec but it's just not going to be giga broken apparently I got a necrotic wake 21 on the paladin um, which is neat oh no what spec is this I think I have a weapon I do. Ooh, this is crit. Mm. Yeah, we'll just farm up 25 modes and call it even. I guess 50 modes. That's a lot of crit. You don't really want to pass that up. Rather crit first, but I'd rather lose the burst for some crit, I think. Especially since I don't do, like super tough keys on the monk and the monk doesn't need to kite as, uh, as we've kind of been over so that's cool first item of the week first did i take something on that oh i took bracers on them you know first alt item here goes my halls of atonement specialist the bear oh i think i did sanguine that's actually i think we already had a vent here but i said you know, two would be better, and uh, somebody actually believed me for like a second. But it didn't matter because my bear smashes. I think I topped damage in that dungeon. Thrash is a super tough ability to use. And I didn't get trolled by not getting a countdown, I think, at the start. Do we have it? Yes, I'm going to 17. Ugh. Nope. Oh, that's Gary. Yeah, Gary's good. That's right. No shame in losing to a survival hunter. What do I want? Oh, we want an actual tank trinket. Air, garbage tank. I'm going to tell you right now. In between incarns, it's like the struggle. And we got another 50 Genesis motes. Grats. If you didn't know, this trinket's garbage. And if you think it's cool to give your 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 team a buff, that's that's great. You should just play a class that buffs your team and not use it on horrible trinkets. Grok Samson. Let's see what Grok got. Could use literally anything. I think I've gotten multiple weapons. I think um at the very least not getting a duplicate item, or if you do get a duplicate item, maybe like have it roll a tertiary or something not indestructible please uh, they should definitely get rid of indestructible too in my opinion it's kind of neat or just make it like uh i don't know product of like a crafted item that doesn't take away tertiary budget because uh i don't know anybody that's ever honestly been happy i'd rather have speed leech avoid easy easy shield mm. Oh, hey, that's a direct upgrade. Um, sure. That's 50 motes, though. That's okay. We'll have, what, like four months to farm motes? Whatever. Anything's going to be good on, on the... Uh... Oh, it's funny when you get... Some weeks, I feel like you get multiple... Not necessarily duplicate, but like the same item and like an upgrade on an alt. So you're just like, I, you know, how do you not take that, right? 
I'll tell you, 50 Genesis modes would have been fine. I don't think that ring is going to stop me from doing, like, no lever 15s. I feel like I want to back off on some add-ons lately, but I'm going to tell you, uh, all the things is, uh, is pretty much the majority of it, right? TSM. I could probably disable TSM for the tunes I actually play. But I think you still get good information on, on the item tooltip, so I don't even think I want to do that. We should probably just rebuild a PC from the ground up. That's probably the call. So look at, yeah, look. Big 9K deeps. Uh, what do we do? Uh, yeah, that was definitely streets. My Warlock, I think, just broke 1500 so I can, like, upgrade a couple more items and then the season reset. So I'm super duper happy with that. We have no Valor anyway because we don't get to play the tune. Right. Generating loot for Destruct E. This is a friggin' mastery crit item, isn't it? Mother. I'm big sad face. I, th I think I'm actually just gonna craft. Craft ring. I'd have to get rid of the boots. Oh. Meh. I don't really have too much to spare. I guess I could lean more into mass. I, you know. Whatever. I don't. I don't care what the class is. If you're a caster and you have cast time your abilities, I'm. I'm stacking haste. You can. Uh, you can bet your bottom dollar on that. So. Yeah, we got multiple merits. Means we're gonna get some, maybe a uh, Zareth Mortis mount or two today. Also, for those still playing, what is it this week? Oh, bursting volcanic. This is like the easiest Tyran week you can get. Uh, if any range actually com complains to you about volcanic, um, I don't know what to tell you. Bursting great priests, uh, kind of all over the place anyway. So. You know, that's cool. Remember, if you're a Warlock and you're not Demo, you can uh, even run Imp to uh, self-dispel. I think it's only one stack, actually, now that I think about it for Bursting, so that's kind of rough. But, uh, yeah, good week. Last Tyran week. Uh, you know, bosses that we're looking at that are really tough. Uh, Echelon, which is the second boss in Halls. Last boss in Halls, if you're doing real high, can be extreme tank damage and stuff like that. Uh, Gambit, not too bad. Saleh is just going to be like a five-minute fight. So, you know. I'm looking at the 12. I'm like, I know I have a better key than that. Uh, not too, too bad. Sanguine Depths, kind of all the bosses. First boss, not too bad. Um, second boss, notoriously worst boss for me and my group. Uh, just heartbreaker after heartbreaker. If you can manage to get the 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 urn buff right you know like five plus something like that um and then get that to boss that's cool but if you have the stone guardian on the way to the boss and you haven't procced him before the urn uh that kind of makes it difficult and especially if you don't have grips and stuff like that then you know you are worried about uh you know getting those scribes to the actual urn but um you know, if you can take any buff into the boss, definitely have lust for it. Definitely have all your cooldowns. You don't want to save cooldowns too much in, uh, in Mythic Plus, but, like, if you're one pack away from this guy and don't use your two minutes, and if you're two packs, don't use your three minutes, right? Because you're going you to want to blow this thing up. Uh, Four million health on the 20. That is, yeah, a little, little under that. What else we got? Uh, Theater of Pain. On, on my main, Theater of Pain are the only two untimed keys I have that are giving me score for the dungeon. Um, Theater of Pain rough, five bosses, all of them kind of rough. Uh, Zav and... Um, yeah, Zav, Military Wing, definitely want to make sure you get your lust onto that boss probably after the first group gets sent down and like hold 
killing off the ur until they come back right it's kind of rough depending on your comps you know you're cleaving off banners and stuff like that but um you know and i would still recommend if you're doing it skipping most of that gore chop trash and, and killing it on the lich side um also uh lich side is uh, got a notoriously rough boss where are we I'm getting the names mixed up. I know I am. Oh yeah, both rock. No, I'm not. If you want to get, if you can, you try want to get lust on this. So what you could do is, um, I like saving gore chop for just before boss, or, I, or I've been doing that lately because you don't really need the the lust on gore chop. His ads kill himself, and it's a rough fight, but it's it's kind of not as rough as the other two, and it doesn't waste as much time as like zap, and it's certainly not as hard as cold rock. So you could go like. Lust first boss. Probably go pull the rock. If you lust first boss and then go military wing, it might be up for Zav. It will definitely be up for Cold Rock. But then whichever one you don't go to, you probably want to go to that one next. And get uh hopefully get lust on the boss then and then Gore Chop Wings like, you know, four not four minutes, but you know, boss time plus like three packs of trash. Uh, if you do my route. Barrel of Carnage. Uh, where we just kind of skip everything and, and to, to woe the boss here, you know, you're going to pull this. Whatever comes with it, comes with it, right? But you're going to kill woe, and then you're immediately going to go, I think you can get banner here. I'm, I'm not entirely certain I remember that specifically because uh, I'm never the Necrolord. But, uh, You'll, you'll woe past all this stuff, right? And then um, after boss, you'll come up here and you'll pull this stuff that you've woed past. But don't don't pull any gas bags. The anti-gas bag strat is the best strat. So, um, and then nothing goofy here. I don't know. Some people like that. Too. This pack is still going to be super duper rough. Make sure you kill the captain. If you're a DK, you can MC that, right? Um, yeah, theater pain. Not the most recommended dungeon in the world. Grease is pretty fair. Mailroom can kind of drag on. Uh, that's another boss that just artificially inflates the time the longer you take, right? Because you got to run around and do that stuff. Miss first boss. You want to have everything. Uh, if you're skipping, don't potion first pull, right? You want to save that for the boss. Uh, Tradova also a monster. And, and Moonberry also a monster. But it's it's definitely better this week than uh, on Tyrand than it is on Fortified with Explosives. Because that is a, a hell I don't wish on anybody. Uh, Spires, your tank might instantly die to the first boss. That sometimes happens, um, you know, or other people, right? So definitely, definitely want to be careful there. And then Devos, right? That's going to be a six-minute fight. Like, you're just going to be there forever. Uh, Plague Ball, not too tough. Um, it's pretty much do you annihilate the first boss in under two minutes or 90 seconds. And if you don't, your healer is probably just going to run out of stuff. You're going to run out of buttons to press during stomps. Um, remember that new tech you can line of sight the knockback stomp if you're super slick about it but uh it can also get you knocked in some weird places or into a wall uh just be careful when you do that necrotic wake now thor that last boss just so rough i'd recommend spearing first boss third boss fourth boss and necrotic wake and then uh, any combination of other weapons on top of that stitch less you kind of we usually come into this situation where we're we have Lust, and, you know, we're at Stitch Flesh, right? But we have Nalthor right after that. Uh, so, it, Nalthor's a harder fight, but Stitch Flesh is more punishing. Uh, so, if you screw up, it's easier to have the, all those dominoes tip over and you just die to Stitch Flesh, right? And if you use weapons on that and don't have weapons after that, that's, a, again, another special hell I don't invite anybody to. Uh, but just make sure you execute. If, if you're a DPS or healer, it's imperative that you you nail the uh the chain grab the first one and the third one remember the third one the boss will still be down getting his ass beat chain goes out and if you don't aim it right then you know boss is gonna jump and, and he will immediately get grabbed or he won't if you if you biffed it so just kind of keep that in mind um you know gates to that area self ports transcends all that kind of stuff just don't get caught out um because frankly, if your tank ends up having three of those guys, he's just going to get crunched. Um, 
it's super rough that's kind of like all hands on deck cds kind of you have multiple cds just to live that for just a little bit i guess unless your warrior probably is okay time with it but um yeah it's super rough i'd probably recommend committing a spear a hammer and a lust to stitch less and then just gutting it out on Malthor. If you're DPS, maybe spec into an extra movement talent, because uh, going downstairs without movement really, really sucks. I know we have Kaz plays demo lock. It's always a rough time down there because she's a turret and she can't really move fast. Uh, so it can be rough. Or even just killing Woe right off the bat can really help, but you hate to give up damage. And Das, Mozela, uh, super rough. Uh, Zyaxa, also super rough. Mostly tank damage on on big guy and and just killing your your totems. Uh, I would just lust on on totems because you don't want to find out that you you didn't need lust or you don't want to find out that you needed lust, but it's okay to find out that you didn't need it, right? Because that means you got through the phase, uh, and you're extending the fight by minimum a minute if you miss a totem, right? Because it's a forty second phase and it probably takes you it's a minute 40 you extend the fight by you know if you do that so something to think about there Zyaxa also rough um you can do some cool stuff in in DOS where if you have your portals you can kind of go do uh Arden Wield first right and uh that's not Arden Wield it's over here Go do Ardenwald first, and then, you know, after you've killed Zyaxa, if you have your portals, you can just portal back to the front of the dungeon, and that's actually a big time save, uh, you know, and then you can continue off here to the right. Um, it's something to think about. Uh, it would also potentially prevent you from having to pull this Enraged Spirit, which we haven't really tried that, because uh, we've not all had our 20 ports up at the same time, and I'm not sure how many we even have with the port, but... Something to think about. These packs are rough. Not as rough as last week. If you tanked these packs last week, uh, you're fine this week. I think last week I managed to get lost on this pack, this pack, this pack, and this pack. That was quality work um, because that's the hardest shit in the game. Uh, yeah. But last Tyran week, you know, you just want to get it. Uh, it's not too, too bad, but those bosses, it's a very big healer week. Uh, very big, you know, if your tank's going to get split in half by bosses, I don't know, right? If your tank can tank forward, you can tank a Tyran boss, right? But um, people getting hit by stuff, people, like, getting hit by Echelon's Leap, stuff that you can normally, like, oh, now I got to hit a personal because I got hit by it, right? You don't really want to mess up that. You want to just do the mechanic properly. Um for echelon specifically you know if if your tank is making sure to pull boss away from those from those dead imps then that kind of gives people a better visual of where they need to go and you don't get slammed on you can totally get killed by a slam if you're a tank and you're a little bit low health also um just another tip for echelon if you don't really know this um it's kind of hard to describe uh if you're a tank you probably are familiar with this type of interaction but um Wait, where are we? Oh, yeah, we're up here. So, like, you got your ads that spawn here and here, right? Like, so, it's kind of a unique to caster thing, and you can kind of, you know, if you're a tank and you've ever, like, taunted an obliterator just to get them running at you first for a couple seconds, you know, you get a few feet before they start doing anything. And these guys, these MPs, if you don't touch them, they will all run to within, like, a Consecration's sized you know circle in the middle but you know if your healer's right there and they immediately aggro the healer like if your priest fade when they come out right um and if you're any other healer probably come into your tank a little bit um but don't touch them let them come to the beginning uh middle and then start casting and then you can kick them use your aoe stuff and if you're out of aoe stuff and they're still casting kick one stun the other knock the other you know use your whole toolkit there because those casts during the jump is what kills people uh, and also those casts you know just in general will kill people if you don't aim them down enough and uh you know your various tanks have cool stuff like sigil of silence uh sometimes i will sigil one side right off the bat just so it runs to the other side completely 
Um, you can also mash grip once they get close enough. Divine Toll is good for this. Uh, you won't hit all of them with Toll, but uh, and bears, bear does good damage when you when you end guard during so. Uh, also, disorienting roar, uh, typhoon, type uh, Ursals into typhoon is is a great uh, great tool, but you know a lot of bears run resto, I guess. Anyway, last Tyran week. Good luck to everybody who's still pushing score. Good luck to people who are pushing like big score. Uh, and I do know that next week is going to be a pretty okay week if you're okay. If your tank is good with Necrotic, or if he's a Kyrian, right? Uh, and then you have all range, that's a pretty okay week. But if you have melee, expect them to die next week. Um, yeah, season coming to a close. Can't wait for the new dungeons next season or the new old dungeons. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, we'll catch you next time, guys, and uh, we'll have lady boxes coming out uh, tomorrow as well. Have a good one. Make sure to smash that like button if you like the video. Hit the download if you didn't like it. Uh, sub if you want to see more content and uh, comment. Tell me anything. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm right. Happy Tuesday, folks. Peace.